गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एट सो एज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड विद रीडर्स सिलेबस सो येस्टरडे वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड विद ऑल द लेसन ऑफ द रीडर सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द रिमेनिंग पार्ट रिमेनिंग चैप्टर्स ऑफ योर ग्रामर बुक सो एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड अप टिल चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन टेन वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड टेन चैप्टर्स वर्ब्स फिनीट एंड नॉन फिनीट सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट है दैट वी विल डू लेटर ऑन but before we will do an active and passive you have already done in essay 1 so we will start with the lesson number 13 adverbs so open your book at page number 70 of your grammar book so we will start with that now what are adverbs you have been reading this uh, since class 6 adverbs are the verbs that modify the verb adjective or any other adverb adverbs modify the meaning of a verb and adjective or another adverb means jo adverb hai wo ya to verb ko modify kar deta hai means uski meaning ko thoda aur clarify kar deta hai ya wo adjective bhi ho sakta hai adjective ko bhi wo modify kar sakta hai ya sentence mein dusra ek another adverb hai jise bhi wo modify kar sakta hai they describe how where and when an action took place so mostly the adverbs uh, tell us that how the action is taken place where and when right so these three mainly are the main adverbs they also express the view point of the speaker about an action and they also tell us about the view point means speaker jo bol raha hai uska uske kya views hai uska kya opinion hai that also um, is uh, denoted by the adverb okay so let's see the examples he runs fast so in this what is the verb what action is going on runs runs is an it's an verb it's an action word fast so now here in this sentence adverb fast qualifies the verb action run so now uh, the question will come in your mind he runs fast right now you will ask yourself how he runs so how aa gaya na aapke mind mein it is telling how he runs so you will tell he runs fast so here the fast is qualifying the action that is run run ko wo qualify kar rahe hain means bata rahe hain ki wo kaise run karta hai how so that means he runs fast wo tez daudta hai कैसे दौड़ता है वो तेज दौड़ता है ही इज क्वाइट हैप्पी नाउ इफ वी जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस इफ वी जस्ट थिंक ही इज हैप्पी सो व्हाट इज हैप्पी हैप्पी इज एन एडजेक्टिव राइट सो हियर द क्वाइट क्वालिफाइज द एडजेक्टिव हैप्पी यहां पे क्या कर रहा है वो एडजेक्टिव को क्वालिफाई कर रहा है ही इज हैप्पी सिंपल वो खुश है वो कितना खुश है He is quite happy. Means काफी खुश है So here happy को उसने और qualify कर दिया और modify कर दिया उसने और उसको clarify कर दिया कि वो कितना खुश है कम या ज्यादा So it's quite happy means काफी खुश है So now we will um, discuss about the formation of the adverbs from the adjectives. Mostly जो एडवर्ब्स होते हैं हमारे एडजेक्टिव से ही फॉर्म होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल चीप सो इफ वी हैव टू चेंज दिस इनटू द एडवर्ब सो इट विल बी चीप ली सडन सडन ली क्विक क्विक ली स्लो स्लो ली so these are the most simpler forms means if you have to change the adjective into an adverb to hum ly piche laga de mostly 80% jo adverbs hain wo ly ke lag ke bante hain but now if the question arises that in some sentences y is erased like take the example of if the adjective ends in y so if the adjective ends 
with y. So what happens? Then it replaces the y with i. It replaces the y with i and or ly means ya to i lag jata hai usme ya ly lag jata hai now we will see how just take the example easy now easy ab isme kaise change hoga this is this is an this is the adjective so this is the adjective and we have to change easy into an adverb so it will be jo y hai isme wo erase ho jayega i pehle i lag jayega aur fir ly easy ly right now take one more example like we say angry angry ka kya ban jayega ang i lagega fir ly here crazy y will be replaced by i l y crazy z ke baad i l y crazily crazy crazily so like this it can be changed now if the adjective ends in able so if the adjective ends in able so what happens able able or e able able or le so replace the e with i so replace the e with i let's just see why so now we take the example now the word is terrible terrible so now it is ending in i v l e so if we have to change it into an adverb it will be terry b l y terry billy now second example gentle here it is ending with l e gentle so it will change like gent le now take the example one more example three possible l e it is ending with l e again so possibly right now if the adjective ends with i c A L L Y. Exception publicly. So exception होती है हमारे पास कई बार कुछ words होते हैं जो ऐसे नहीं use होते exceptions उनको exceptions कहते हैं एक या दो जो थोड़े से differently use होते हैं like public ठीक है ना तो public को कैसे हम change करेंगे 
पब्लिक पब्लिक कली सी एल वाई दिस इज एन एक्सेप्शन बहुत कम वर्ड्स होते हैं ऐसे जो ए एल एल वाई नहीं लगेगा सो क्यू वर्ड्स आर कुछ वर्ड्स ऐसे होते हैं उनको हम एक्सेप्शन देते हैं नाउ टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बेसिक इट विल बी चेंज लाइक बेसी कली क्लियर ट्रैजिक ट्रैजी कली थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इकोनॉमिक सो इकोनॉमिकली फोर्थ इज मैजिक इट्स मैजिकली राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज इफ द एब्जेक्टिव एंड इन एल एड एल वाई example tactfully now here the adjective is ending with l this ka ban jayega tact fully ek l uska laga hua hai piche l by aur hum kar rahe hain second one factual to ban jayega fact थर्ड फेथफुल सो इट विल बी फेथ फुली क्लियर नाउ कम्स द डोल फुल डोल फुल सो इट विल बी डोल Fully. Is it clear? Now form the adverbs from the given adjectives. So now we will try to form the adverbs. Now we will do the exercise. Exercise number one: form the adge adverbs from the given adjectives. First one is sincere. Second is lazy. Third is elegant. Fourth is beautiful, sad. Now, sincerely, clear. Lazy. Y will be replaced. L A Z I L Y. Lazy. Lee. Ali. Gent. Lee. 
beautifully. Sadly, horribly. Clear? Now we we'll do the seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So seventh one is humble. The next one is strategic. Strategic. Then the next is meticulous. Next is careful, painful. Careful, painful and symbolic. Now, humble. Hum. Bali. Ye jo e hai, ye nikal jayega. Stra, te, ji, tali. Mati, hu, les, li. Care, fully. Pain, fully. Symbolically. So like this, we have to form the adverbs from the given adjectives. Now fill in the blanks with the appropriate adverbs. Now the next exercise, number two. The kite did not go very I will not write the sentence. You have to do this in your book only. So I will just tell the exact word. So the first line is the kite did not go very dash high or highly. It is on page number 71. The first one is the kite did not go very high. Second, why should I pay them? They dash worked for me. They hardly worked for me. Third, many villages have been destroyed by an earthquake lately. Lately means recently. The child dash got lost in the fair. The child nearly. So the fifth one is Sunny flew directly to London. Sixth Queen tastes Bitter. Seventh, your story does not sound. True. Eighth, I expect you to treat me fairly. Ninth, the lost child cried. Bitterly. Turn the page. Let's see if we have more. No. So, these are nine. So, now we come to the next. Some adverbs have the same form as adjectives. So, there are some adverbs jo bilkul adjectives ki tarah hi hote hain. Kaise? They are, have the same form as the adject uh, these adjectives like early, fast, hard, high, 
लेट नियर स्ट्रेट और रॉन्ग तो ये जो सारे एडवर्ब्स हैं ये बिल्कुल एडजेक्टिव्स ही लगते हैं इट इज अ फास्ट कार सो हियर यू डोंट नीड टू चेंज इट इनटू एन एडवर्ब इट द एडजेक्टिव फास्ट मॉडिफाइज द द नाउन कार So now we come to that some adverbs have the same form. Some adverbs have the same form as adjectives. For example, like early fast hard high late near straight or wrong आर सम एडवर्ब्स विच आर सेम एज एडजेक्टिव ये हमारे एज एडजेक्टिव भी यूज हो सकते हैं मीन्स दे हैव द सेम फॉर्म एज ऑफ एडजेक्टिव लाइक इफ आई से इट इज अ फास्ट कार इट इज अ फास्ट कार सो नाउ हियर इट इज यूज एज एन एडवर्ब मीन्स इट मॉडिफाइज द वर्ड नाउन कार It modifies the noun car. इसको वो modify करती है Car क्या है It's a noun. So it is uh, it is the fa the word fast is modifying the noun. So it is telling that what type of car it is. So it is a it this fast word जो है modifies the noun. कार ठीक है सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल नॉर्थ आई से ही ड्राइव वेरी फास्ट नाउ हियर इट इज मॉडिफाइंग द वर्ड नाउ कैसी कार है वॉट टाइप ऑफ कार इट इज इट इज अ फास्ट कार बट हियर ही ड्राइव वेरी फास्ट हियर इट इज modifying the verb action adverb fast here jo hai wo modify kar raha hai it modifies the verb drives because isme action kya hai action hai drive he drives very fast means here he is modifying the action but here There is no action. Here it is modifying a noun. Car is a noun. So here it is telling you about modifying the noun. Here it is modifying the this uh, adverb is modifying the verb. Like if I say this is a tough task to do. It is a tough task. to do now here the word tough yahan pe kya kar raha hai task kya hai what is a task here task is a noun so here it is modifying tough modifies the verb no sorry the noun task यहां पे जो टास्क है वो एज अ नाउन यूज हो रहा है 
क्या चीज है वॉट इज टफ हियर द टास्क सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर नाम सो इन द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस इफ आई से ही वर्क्स हार्ड ही वर्क्स हार्ड नाउ हियर इट्स अ वर्ब ये वर्ब है और ये है जो हार्ड है इट इज मॉडिफाइंग द वर्ब हियर हार्ड modifies the verb work clear i hope it is clear so now we are going to do the exercise number 3 so mention whether the highlighted words are adjectives or adverbs in the following sentences we saw many high buildings so in the first sentence high buildings so buildings are what is it a verb or a noun it's a noun so we will do exercise number 3 it is on page number 72 now we saw many high buildings so high buildings so what we have to do we have to mention whether the highlighted words are adjectives or adverbs high here it is used as an adverb because here it is modifying this here it is using used as an adjective यहाँ पे एडजेक्टिव की तरह यूज हुआ है हियर टफ टास्क है जो यहाँ पे भी जो है ये टफ जो है यहाँ पे भी एज अ एडजेक्टिव यूज हुआ है तो यहाँ पे भी हाई बिल्डिंग्स हाई बिल्डिंग्स मींस अगर वो नाउन को क्वालिफाई कर रहा है तो ये क्या हुआ एज एन एडजेक्टिव और अगर वो वर्ब को मॉडिफाई करता है तो वो हुआ एडवर्ब but if it is qualifying a noun then it is used as a adjective and if it is qualifying a verb then it is an adverb now in the second sentence the bird flew high in the sky flew high flew it's a verb it it's a noun ye aa gaya verb flew high so here it is an adverb because it is modifying the verb here it is modifying a noun so that means it's an adjective here it is modifying the verb that means it's an adverb third draw a straight line straight line straight line now here it's a noun so here straight is a adjective fourth he went straight through the corridor straight through so here it is verb here it is using as an it is modifying the verb so here it is adverb fine this is a wrong answer wrong answer means ye hamara naam hua hai yahan pe so that means it's an adjective here six what why are you doing all sums wrong so sixth one is uh sums wrong doing sums wrong so here this word is verb doing is a verb here so it is an adverb 
Now we will do the seventh one here. Come, uh, come back fast. We have to rush. Come back fast. Come back fast. And the sixth, second one is this is a fast selling product. So here, come back. It's a verb here. So it is an adverb. Here it is a fast selling product. Here it is fast selling product. So here it is noun. So here it is adjective. Early bird catches the prey. Early bird. So here the early is and in the next she arrived early. Here it is a this is a noun. So it's an adjective. And she arrived early. So here arrived is the verb. So it's a verb here. So that means it's an adverb. I hope it is clear to you. When the word is qualifying a noun, like here it is a fast car, it is qualifying a noun. That means it is used as an adjective because adjective qualifies the, it modifies the noun. But adverb, it modifies the Either an adjective, verb or another adverb, but not a noun. Jab sentence mein noun ko qualify kar rahe, word. Means it can be adjective, uh, adverb or adjective. Means if you have to differentiate between an adverb and an adjective, so you have to check out that which word it is modifying. Whether it is modifying a noun or whether it is modifying a verb or another verb or an adjective. So, but... If the word is modifying a noun, that means it's an adjective in all cases. But if it is modifying a verb or another adverb or an adjective, that means it is used as an adverb. I hope it is clear to you.